Embrace your life on these five senses. That's right. Can't embrace your life. You go purchase all the ticket when you got there. Somebody broke into your room and they got 
So all your travel checks, all your cash, you have no way now of getting back to the United States. All you got to do is go find the United States Embassy in the Bahamas. And the United States Embassy's responsibility is to get you back to the United States of America. And when you come into the house of God, you're going to be able to come into the house of God and be able to be connected back to the home country. That's what you do. That's what you do. Amen? Amen. That's what it's about. The purpose. Men, plans, and devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, it's the purpose of God. God ain't going to deviate from his plan. Plans change. Purpose never changes. Never changes. So God said, guess what? You either going to walk in dominion now, or you're going to walk in dominion in Revelation when he said, I see in the new Jerusalem descending. And he said, now the tabernacle of God is now with me. I said, you're going you, you to reign on the earth. You might go to heaven if something happened to you before that time, but you're coming back to the earth to reign. Coming back. Because there's many plans. Devices in a man's heart, but it's the purpose of God. It's the original thought of God that's going to stay. It's the original thought of God that's going to stay. Amen. I'm giving you these two definitions, and I'm going to step over the way. And I hope you've been blessed as much as I've been blessed. Amen. When you read the Bible, when you read the Bible, you'll read two terminologies dealing with the kingdom. You'll read the kingdom of heaven, and you'll read the kingdom of God. Read those two. Yeah. two. What it represents is this. The kingdom of heaven represents the headquarters of the home country. It's just like Washington, D.C. The kingdom of God represents the influence or impact of that home country in that territory. Watch this. The United States government is centered in Washington, D.C. But as people in Afghanistan and in Iraq are feeling the effects of our government through war. War was declared in Washington, D.C. years ago. They are feeling the impact of our government in Afghanistan and Iraq. What are you saying, Richard? The government don't have to leave heaven in order to affect another territory. Because see, you're dealing in an invisible realm. So what I leave you here today was this. Every time that you're dealing with situations in life, and it seems like the odds are stacked against you, God is saying this, that when Jesus came with the government upon his shoulder, you're no longer responsible to care for yourself. See, citizenship deals with rights and privileges. Membership has got your name on the floor. See, I'm not concerned about membership. I want citizenship. As a citizen of the United States of America, there's rights that you have. But the scripture says you're in the world, but you're not of the world. You're in this order of authority, government, but you're not of this order of authority. Do you know that our government supersedes this government? It supersedes. So you don't have to worry about what's going on in this government. Because you're in it, but you're not up. But because the enemy don't want you to know who you are, cause you to have an identity crisis. You are a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of God will impact and influence any situation you deal with. It. All you got to do is be that act. Live from the inside out. When you deal with something, God is saying, wait for the spirit to speak. And the spirit will put you in a perfect place. We call 
how to live yes. from the inside out. That's what we call it. Yes, sir. The kingdom citizens, we have rights. Right. Yes, sir. We have rights. Amen. That's what God is calling us to. This is what a kingdom is. A kingdom is the government authority and influence of a king over a territory, okay. impacting it with his own personal will, intent, and purpose, manifesting a culture, set mindset, morals and values in the citizenry of that territory that are a reflection of him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are a citizen of the king. Yes, sir. You are a citizen of the kingdom. You see, a kingdom is not like a democracy. King's reputation is based on how well their citizens are taken care of. If you look poor, it makes the king look bad. That's why King gained a lot of wealth. It's not for himself. It's that he can take care of the citizen of the intelligence. That's why a good man. He don't care if he's sleeping under the bridge because he's sleeping in the White House. The king's reputation is based on where you sleep, what you eat, what you wear, what you drop. You are kingdom representative. God bless you. Amen. Amen. So we're just so grateful. Amen. I'm just, I'm just trusting. I'm trusting. 